Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have an Argentinian Cabernet in front of me, uh, Terrazas de los Andes Selection Cabernet Sauvignon 2010. Uh, this is the winery, uh, well, Moet, as in Moet and Sean, and Moet Hennessy's uh, South American Outpost. And uh, they've been there for, what, I don't know, 15 years or so now? And um, they've been turning out some pretty nice wines. Let's see whether this is one of them. Nice mixture of the bold and the confidently mature. Uh, so the boldness is, it feels like the, the, the fruit flavours are juicy, ripe, uh, not in your face. I think it's 2010. I imagine if you tried it two years ago, it would have been a bit sort of like gnarly and, uh, uh, and sort of going goo at you. But um, extra time in bottle has softened it. So... Um, what you're getting now is those dark fruits, which have just had some of their adolescent uh, edges just chiselled off slightly. So, uh, and then uh, that confident maturity. What it also feels like is that uh, when they when they did make the wine in the first place, they didn't try too hard. They thought, okay, the fruit's decent enough. We don't need to really mash it to get as much flavour out of, as possible. Uh, the good things about doing that is that uh, uh, as it gets older, uh, you're not getting these hard edges. It feels like it's, there's going to be this uh, richness, but also a little bit of mellowness too. When you come to taste it, there's a little bit of um, spiciness, maybe even a touch of um, greenness is the wrong word, but um, well, gr greenness is a word I'm going to use. There's a little bit of herbal character, uh, not uh, herbaceous as in under ripeness, but I think the oak is just giving a little bit of, uh, of, of, of greenness and spiciness to, to, to the wine. And uh, yeah, re keeping that fruit uh, from just wobbling out and falling out onto the table. The glass is there for that, of course, but uh, so there's this sweet fruit and then this fine uh, finish that uh, that keeps the wine going along a straight and narrow path down your throat or into my little spittoon here uh, and um, does it pretty nicely. Feels like a wine that's got uh, quite a bit of potential to, uh, uh, to keep going for maybe even another five years, but um, I'd very happily uh, sit into a glass of that, uh, preferably with a large Argentinian steak. See you soon.